following is a presentation of Muddy River Sports. Welcome to The List. I'm Muddy River Sports Editor Matt Shuckman, and welcome to our latest podcast. Kicking it off this week as we run down our top 10 favorite things. We will come to you each week, and we're going to start it this week by talking NCAA tournament basketball since we're in the heart of it. And the Illini, University of Illinois, are headed to the Sweet 16. So my guest, Quincy High School boys basketball coach Andy Douglas and I, are going to rank our top 10 favorite Illini of all time. Love How's that sound? It. Love it. Absolutely love it. I figured you'd be good for this <laughs> list. I know how deep deep love. down the Illini are to your heart. Especially us make, making this nice little run. You know, <laughs> yeah. this is uh, perfect timing. So the question is, will Terrence Shannon be on your list? <clears throat> we'll find out. We're going to find out. <laughs> All right, top ten favorite. Again, these are our favorite Illini basketball players. These aren't the best ten. Right, right. And we're not trying to say that. These are our each individual favorites. And we're going to get it started with you with number ten. This this is uh, might be a little bit of a shocker, but Nana Agu. Okay. And I, I can almost guarantee he's not on a lot of people's list, but uh, I got a chance to watch him practice on multiple occasions, and nobody brought more energy. No one communicated better. No one was a better teammate than, than that guy, and that, he sticks out for me. Very nice. Uh, I go to the Peoria Connection. Yep. We had a lot of Peoria guys who have gone and played uh, for, the, for Illinois. Frank Williams. Yep. Love yeah, the way Frank yeah. Frank controlled the game from the point guard position. He was a big point guard. Yeah, he you was. You know, and, and understood how to score, how to distribute. Um, he was just a playmaker. Slasher. Yeah. You know, strong kid. He could, he could do yeah. it all. So Did a lot. There's my number 10. Number nine. Number nine for me, I'm going to have to go with uh, Io DeSumo. And, and I don't know if he... Uh, makes my list if my son isn't such a big fan. So he's, you know, he he's uh, he's on that list for that reason. He Landon loved him. Uh, I got a chance to watch him play a lot, obviously, and and you know, kind of. You mentioned Terrence Shannon, kind of similar in how quick they can get from point A, just turn yeah. it on to point B. Well, it's funny. Landon's going to like me right now, then too, because number nine on my list is Io DeSumo. <laughs> uh, just love the way he handled the game. Yeah, um, he elevated Illinois. Um, to get this kind of run started right. under Brad Underwood, so um, kind of kind of put to help get Illinois back in that national title talk. Yeah, yeah, you know, and obviously he's gone on and had success with the Chicago Bulls, but yeah, there's number nine for me. Number I eight, I like it. I like it. Number eight for me, I'm going to go and he he would probably be at the top of the list on most people's, but D Brown uh, is my number eight, and D was uh, you know, kind of like Agu, just the energy. Uh, but he was a little more flamboyant with his energy, and yeah. and I don't think uh, I, you know I'm, I'm going to bring up an old story here in a, in a, with a few few uh, picks later. But I don't think, uh, as far as I've seen, Illinois uh, Assembly Hall or State Farm Center has been as uh, hyped as, as it was when D Brown was playing. My number eight is Dimitri McCamey. Oh, love the way how tough and right. physical he was as a point guard. Great distributor. Really saw the floor well. Um, averaged more than five assists a game his senior year. Just really did a great job of, of leading a team. Yeah, and his toughness always. I just loved his toughness. Yeah, he's a he's a, in, Illinois has a, a history of point guards yes. like that, like that. And there may be another one or two on these lists, right? As we right. move forward, uh, number seven. Number seven for me. You mentioned him already, but Frank Williams. Um, we got a chance to beat his team, uh, manual team in high school on our way to third yep. place in state. Right. Uh, and then to watch him, you know, grow and progress his career, how he played. You mentioned it. I mean, just an all-around stud. I go back to the flying Illini days. My, my favorite era of watching Illinois basketball. Um, and there's going to be a couple flying Illini <laughs> yeah, on my yeah, list. Bet, but the first one is Kenny Battle. All right. A guy that could just get above the rim. And you knew if he got in the open court – it was time for a show. Yeah. Because those guys could they, they could fly. So uh Kenny Battle would be the first of the flying Illini to make my list. He would be on my OLI outside uh, looking at yeah. this, but uh and, and I have his poster still hanging in my basement. <laughs> I love that guy. But I'm gonna stick to the same script as far as flying Illini I go with Nick Anderson. Uh he'd be my number six, the leader of that squad. Uh, you know, I was at that age where I was, you know, got a chance to watch him play, obviously, in college, but then followed his career in the NBA as well. Love that guy. Uh, funny you should say Nick Anderson at number six. He's number six on my <laughs> list as well. 
I am shocked that we have two on the same at the same number. I thought we'd have some overlap of right, same, right. similar guys. Yeah. But I didn't know we'd have at the same number. So yeah, Nick Anderson, same thing. Uh, just what a smart player. Yeah. Yeah. Just re- really smart. Really understood the game. Um, and again, a great era of Illini basketball. <laughs> Studs. Okay, we've done the the first five. Now we're on to the top five. Yep. Kick it off. Number five for you. Number five for me. I'm going to stick in the, again that same era. Kendall Gill. Uh, I loved. Absolutely loved watching Kendall Gill play. He was just a a hundred percent muscle, you know, a guy that could shoot, he could drive, finish at the rim, high flyer. Um, he was he was huge. Loved him. I'm going really old school for my number five. A guy I never saw play. You would have never seen play. There aren't very many people who would have saw him play that are still around. Mm-hmm. But that would be Dyke Edelman, considered one of the greatest athletes in University of Illinois history. And the reason I I gravitate toward that is because I've done the research. I've written about Centralia basketball. Right. He was a Centralia native. Yep. Yeah. Um, I've written so much over the years that I feel like I, I know about his career. <laughs> right. like, and it, it disappoints me. I never got to see him play. Uh, and obviously the game was so different back in the absolutely. 40s. But Dyke Edelman, just because of all the research I've done, all the stuff I've read and all the people I've talked to, sticks out to me. Yeah. So he, he, he's on my list as one of the, my favorite Illini because of that. That's awesome. Uh, number four. This is uh, – I got a chance to meet him. I think he might have been, other than the relative I have, that may or may not be on the list. Uh, Maybe. Um, Kiwan Garris. I got a chance to meet him when I was in sixth grade, and I remember how, how nice he was. I was in camp there and, um, you know, got a chance to joke around with him, um, outshoot him in a couple contests too. But uh, he, he was, you know, obviously great to be around, but really fun to watch at the point guard position. Well, I was going to put him at number 10 on my list as a joke and say <laughs> the reason Kiwan Garris is on my list is for the two missed free throws <laughs> of the triple overtime game against Mizzou. But I didn't want to upset anybody. Yeah. But yeah. since you mentioned him, I can bring that uh, up. I was going to put Ravante Rice on my list <laughs> after what he did to Mizzou. Yeah, I understand that. I understand. Uh, number four on my list uh, is just down the highway. I-72. We go to Jacksonville. Yeah. Andy Kaufman. Yeah. Dude could flat out stroke it. Yep. I mean, what a great shooter. Didn't didn't have a great first two years at Illinois mm-hmm. and had an incredible final two years. Yeah. Um, and everybody knew. Everybody knew what he did at Jacksonville. He was a, you know one of the best shooters in Illinois. Yep. High school history. Yep. Went on and had a really good career, um, especially those last two years at, at Illinois. But just what a fantastic shooter. Yeah, that's good. That's a good pick. Good pick. Number number three, number three for me. I'm I'm going with uh, Darren Williams. Darren Williams was. Um, you know, I, I still remember laying on the, on the living room floor watching the 2005 championship game with tears in my eyes after um, North Carolina cheated to get the victory. But uh, <laughs> I tell Kevin Meyer that every time I see him. But Darren Williams is number three on my list. Well, I'm going to go the same team. D Brown's number yeah. three on my list. I just, man, what, what an explosive player. A guy that could do so much. Guy at slash and get to yeah. the lane, get to the basket. Um, just play with great energy. I just, you know, just love the way he played. Go back to that Arizona game, man. Yeah. That, that nice comeback, man. Oh. Anytime I'm in a bad mood, I'll put that on YouTube and I'll be better. One of, one of the most amazing <laughs> comebacks we've, we've seen. Absolutely. All right, number two. Number two, down to the last two. This one uh, is easily uh, number two for me, Derek Harper. Uh, okay. Uh, and, and for maybe for different reasons, I got to – my first experience with Derek Harper was in 1983. I was two years old. Uh, we went to a game, watched uh, Bruce and, and, and their squad play, and Derek Harper hit a game-winning three to beat Minnesota. Uh, obviously, I don't remember it, yeah. but my dad said that I was I cried like crazy because it got so <laughs> loud. And uh, then years later, I uh, got a chance to meet Derek Harper uh, with Bruce, and uh, he took us out to an arcade in Champaign and. Gave me twenty dollars to eat at Wendy's, and at that time, twenty dollars. I'm filthy rich. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> you get fries, and you get fries. But uh, you know, just a, a phenomenal player. And then, obviously, to watch his career in the NBA yeah. too, with the Knicks and uh, a couple other squads. But he'd be my number two. Well, my number two goes back to the flying Illini, and it'd been my favorite player off that team, Kendall Gill. And I still have a, I have it in my memory. Just it's burned in there. Him going in for a dunk and just the way he flew through right. the air and drove one home. And then, and what people don't often don't remember is the year after that, uh-huh. he was the team's leading scorer. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, the guy could put it in the basket. He was a stud. He was flat out stud. Yeah, again, just he could do everything. It's so athletic. Yeah, so incredible. I got a feeling since neither one of us have mentioned anybody else, 
our number one might end up being the same. Lucas Johnson? <laughs> Maybe. Robert Archibald? Yeah, There right. you go. Um, so who is your number one? Uh, it had to be Bruce. Bruce Douglas. <laughs> uh, he's, he's the reason why I started becoming an Illinois fan. Yeah. You know, being around... Um, you know, after he played and as I got, you know, grew up and t- he took us to camps and around the program, meeting players, coaches, stuff like that. He was the reason why uh, I decided to become an Illinois fan and why I'm still an Illinois fan to this day. I hate to, to break your heart here, but Bruce is my favorite Blue Devil of all time. <laughs> you know, I get to remember, I started going to games when I was five at Blue Devil right, Gym. Right. Um, so him and Michael Payne um, and really started with Chucky Robinson. <laughs> He was one of my favorites uh-huh. back then. But Bruce, Bruce was the guy everybody loved in high school. I mean, slamming Bruce tears baskets loose. <laughs> you know, silky smooth is on the move. I yep. mean, there was all all those great sayings that, you know, we had the buttons that said that when uh-huh. he went to state. And then, and then he goes to Illinois, goes to the state school, yep. and everybody paid attention. Everybody watched him, and he didn't disappoint. Right. I mean, you're talking about one of the best players in school history, you know, mm-hmm. and you go back and look at lists people make from different eras, and it doesn't matter if it's somebody made a list of the greatest Illini in in 2000 or 2010 or today. Bruce is still in that top five yep. conversation yep. of greatest Illini ever, and we know how great he was here at Quincy. And, Absolutely. And, and, a, and to top it off, he's such a good dude. And I know we're talking about your uncle. Yeah. But but the, the relationship I have with him and, and continue to have with him, just just great dude yeah. and a phenomenal basketball player. Yep. Yeah, no, he's obviously deserves to be on the top of that list. Yeah. And, yeah, for a lot of different reasons, but you know, pretty special. Well there, there is our top ten favorite University of Illinois basketball players. Who knows? Terrence Shannon may make the list of some of the best <clears throat> Illini basketball players ever. If he can take him to a national title game. Uh, the way he's playing right now. Man, it's, it's incredible. So we have that electric. to look forward to this weekend. Um, but this should whet people's appetite for that. Absolutely. And, and if you have an idea on a list, you got an idea on a list you want us to break down, let me know. Reach out to us here at Muddy River Sports. Um, if you want to chime in with your top ten list of favorite Illini basketball players, send it to us. We'll post it right alongside of this. I can't thank you enough, Andy Douglas, for taking the time to do this. Absolutely, man. It's always a pleasure. It's always great to talk basketball, yeah, isn't it? It sure is. Awesome. Well, for Andy Douglas, I'm Muddy River Sports Editor Matt Shuckman. This has been The List. Muddy River Sports. Our home, our sports.